Hey, neighbor. So I was just listening to, uh, I believe, the newest single by Thank You Scientist, and I, I don't know what it was about it. I think it was the saxophone that just reminded me of being in an elevator in a mall or something like that, or a hotel lobby. Then I tried to listen to their, their most played song on Spotify, and it was like 30 seconds of saxophone. And I was like, all right, I'm out. Um, but I did Google them, so I looked them up on Wikipedia, naturally. And it looks like they're actually signed to a record deal with the lead singer of Coheed and Cambria. So is, is that how you found them? You just stalked the lead singer of Coheed and Cambria? I don't necessarily think they're my cup of tea, but I'm sure if you played them enough, I would probably listen to them in my spare time. So you were talking about how Detective Pikachu looks so much better than uh, the Sonic movie does. And honestly, I'm not really all that surprised. I feel like we found out Detective Pikachu was coming out in like high school or something like that. I don't know. It, I feel like it's been in development for like basically forever. And the Sonic movie, I, I want to say it was like announced maybe last year. So I'm sure the Detective Pikachu folks put a little bit more time into it than the Sonic folks did. Honestly, I, I, the, the first thing that I thought of when I saw the, the Sonic trailer was, what's wrong with his like hips and legs? Like they're like oddly proportioned to how Sonic is supposed to be. Like Sonic's supposed to have like rail thin legs and he had like calves or something like that and thighs. It was weird. I am really looking forward to Detective Pikachu though. Um, I've seen like probably three or four movies in theaters since the, the trailers uh, started coming out. And I, every time that I've seen one of the, the trailers before a movie, um, I look over to my roommate and he's like, I'm not going to see that. And I'm like, we're going to see that. So looks like I'm going to probably have to buy his ticket to Detective Pikachu, but it's going to be worth it. Uh, this video is coming out pretty late today because I spent the majority of the day actually working really hard, trying to get everything uh, wrapped up before I head out for over a week, which is the longest vacation I've taken since I started working, period. I had taken one week off um, previously, but this is six whole work days in a row that I'm taking off. So uh, it's much needed, but I'm like really worried that things at work aren't going to be completed properly. So we'll just have to deal with that when I get back to work. And since I was just in this like tidying up mood, I, I cleaned my room again. So all of my things are folded. My socks are folded for the first time in probably like seven months. Because who folds socks? You just put them back on your feet again like two days later. And you don't have to do a video every day like super early in the morning or something like that. I just definitely need tomorrow's video and next Wednesday's video done early. So I'm about halfway through A Clash of Kings and my favorite character in this book has to be Arya. Her character arc so far has been really good. I'm just kind of disappointed that I know she probably makes it past this book. So you totally stole my question of the day. I had seen what it has to have been uh, last night, maybe two nights ago. I had seen that uh, Blink-182 and Lil Wayne were going to be touring together and I was like, that has to be the oddest combination of people ever. Uh, but then I was thinking about it and I'm going to assume that the people who have a nostalgic feel for Lil Wayne also have a nostalgic feel for Blink-182. So it's probably the reason they're touring together. I haven't heard their collab. Um, I just don't think it would be a very good song. There's something about Lil Wayne's voice now compared to like Fireman or Lollipop. Uh, he just doesn't sound as good. It's not like clear anymore. I honestly don't think that I would go see Blink-182 and Lil Wayne together just because it's probably not going to be great. And the song that you were getting at was a milli. It's a milli, a milli, a milli. I'm a young money millionaire tougher than kind of going off the same vein as your question yesterday. What's one collab or kind of like duet type thing where 
two kind of different styles of music come together and produce something surprisingly really good. Thanks so much for making this to the end of the video. Check back in every weekday for another episode of the 90s vlog. You can follow me on Twitter at 90s guy Kev. You can follow Tom on Twitter at 90s guy Tom. You can follow both of us on Instagram at the 90s guys. And with that, I'll catch you tomorrow, Tom.